Adobe Fuse to iColon. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Creations. And in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to transfer Adobe Fuse character to iColon Realogen iColon 7. So let's get started. Now guys, first create, uh, open a Adobe Fuse CC beta version, the new latest uh, software. And uh, we're just going to assemble a human 3D character in Adobe Fuse CC 2018, the beta version, new latest version. Now guys, we just take a face, assemble the face, we just cap, uh, just drag and drop the this uh, uh, 3D human model face and uh, just select the other part, the chest part. I like this software, Adobe Fuse CC Vita version. We just uh, quickly create uh, 3D human models and we uh, also customize 3D human model very quickly in uh, Adobe Fuse CC Beta. So, yes. Guys, we very quickly uh, assemble a 3D human model, uh, our male model here. Uh, so, uh, now guys if you uh, want to learn the uh, very uh, deeply so I just give you uh, the link in the description my other video tutorials of Adobe Fuse so you just check this I just select the arms Okay, now guys, uh, after this, we just going to uh, select the clothing of uh, our 3D model. So, on the asset, uh, clothing asset built in here. So, I just check uh, the top. I'm just searching the police officer top. Police officer uniform, sorry. I just select uh, the long sleeve uh, police officer uniform. Uh, this is very nice Adobe Fuse CC. So we have lots of uh, clothing uh, options, built in options here. Uh, we can uh, just drag and drop uh, directly, select this. And uh, now I just select the police uniform pant clothing. I just, uh, you know, uh, create this 3D model to send uh, to Bigzimo uh, website uh, where we can uh, auto, where uh, this is the Bigzimo, the Adobe Fuse partner. So they both, uh, you know, we just send this character to Bigzimo and they auto right there. So yeah, this, I just select this pant. nicely the shoes the eyewear the hats and the gloves and the mask all are there and it is customizable
okay now guys i just complete my uh, 3d model clothing and all so i just send uh, to mixamo this character uh this is uh, exporting uh this model to uh mixamo website so so it's export there it will take take a uh, little time it depend on your internet speed now guys it's uh, our 3d model is uh, sent to mixamo uh, we are processing uh, further processing uh, is a start it's uh, auto rigger and uh, our character is under processing uh, to just take a uh, time to rig their uh, 3d model so so guys very easily we can uh, create a 3d model in adobe fuse cc beta version and send to mixamo website where we can uh, you know auto rig uh, this uh, character so after that, uh, we download this FBX file and we can use in uh, Icolon software, Icolon, Real Illusion, Icolon 7 for, and 3D Exchange also. So I, I'll show you. First, we just uh, auto right there, the T pose from this website. Um, guys, uh, Mixamo basically uh, here there uh, we can create animated 3D characters with no 3D knowledge required. We can rapidly create the rig and animate unique characters for design projects. So we just cr create rig and animate very easily. Now guys here you see see animated characters lots of we get highly animation that are automatically uh, retargeted your 3D characters and ready to bring into your project. So, guys, uh, this is our uh, T pose of uh, our police officer 3D character I created and uh, just export from uh, uh, Adobe Fuse CC beta version. So, I just download it. Now, guys, after uh, this, uh, we're just going to import. Uh, uh, this T pose in uh, uh, Real Illusion Icolon 3D Exchange 7 software. So I just search this T pose, which was I uh, created in uh, Mixamo and uh, auto right there in Mixamo. Okay, now guys, this dialog box was open. Uh, <clears throat> this dialog box is, uh, is open, and we just going to click OK importing and 3d exchange uh, will only support more fees from FBX version 2011 in a prior release please make sure your morph animation is exported from FBX plugin yes oh hit ok yes Okay, now guys, it's done. Uh, now guys, you see here on the right side of uh, here, uh, you see the properties of uh, this T pose uh, panel modify further. So we just scroll down and we just come here under the pose. Guys, you see here, we just convert this uh, T pose to non-standard to use in icolon. Okay. So now guys here uh, I just select uh, here uh, some presets so I just select this Maya human IK and uh, here I just check box here I just click here active and I just go there property and also make it active you see here guys this is keraton okay now guys I just preview this animation the basic run here yeah it's done basic walk okay now guys i just uh, hit the convert okay all files in motion library have been updated hit okay okay now guys nothing to do just go to upside and here 
the option apply to icon after this uh, we just select this apply to icon and uh, it is uh, open in icon so we can use uh, this adobe fuse uh, character very easily in icon 7 software